Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Charisma. To all my new K Squad members, welcome to the K Squad. Let's jump right into this review. Hey y'all, so we are back with another wig review. Today we are talking about the Cloud9 Swiss Lace Wig. Braylon, I have her in the color Balage Gold. You can pick this up over at Wig Types for $51.94. I'm going to link everything in the bottom description box below if you guys want to go ahead and purchase this unit. Also, shout out to Wig Types for sponsoring this video today, but let's just go ahead and get into the stats. So this comes with your standard two combs in the front, one comb in the back with your adjustable straps. The length on her is 26 inches. Gonna be a 13 by six ear to ear with six inch deep hand tie part. This is pre-plugged with natural density, undetectable flawless hairline. Perfect hairline, pre-customized unit, protective style, no leave out necessary, and heat iron safe up to 350 to 400 degrees. You guys, let's go ahead and get it to Braylon. So saw this on Courtney Janine's channel. At first, I was not going to review it, but when I saw it on Courtney, I was like, girl, I got to review this because it looks so good on Courtney, right? So it looked good on me too, girl. Yes! I was like, oh my God, it's cute. Um, I was really, really nervous about Braylon because she is a fairly longer length unit and I'm like, oh my God, the density might be trash, but let's go ahead and get into it while we speaking about the density, ma'am. So this is a very soft, yakky texture. It's almost teetering on like a silky texture. Very lightweight, 27 inches long, you guys. And as far as the density, in my opinion, Due to the texture of the hair, it is thin. Now, it's not that thin, but it's thin enough to where I can feel tracks going throughout the unit, especially there at the back. But when all the hair is pulled to the front, it, it, it just doesn't even look like it's super thin. It just looks how it's supposed to look. You know, it looks natural. So I was okay with that. I was pretty much cool with that. Thank God it calmed me down because like I said, I cannot do thin units when they're not supposed to be thin, ma'am. Now I do have this in the same color as is on the stock part. This is the Balage Gold. This comes in 10 different colors with eight of those being specialty Balage colors. Just remember you're going to pay for it for three to six dollars extra if you want to order a specialty color. I think the Balage Gold is definitely gorgeous, you guys. I think that it goes with my skin tone perfectly loving the balage colors sensational is known for balage colors i know that might get a little bit repetitive with sensational but depending on the style a good balage can work for you girl okay so i'm not really mad at the repetitiveness as long as it's always like a different style popping off so i'm definitely here for the color it looks extremely natural and i'm definitely here for it this is going to be a big head growth friendly unit i do have a smaller size head i do have my combs adjusted usually on most of the sensational units they're always a little bit too big for me but the combs and the straps when they're adjusted it's totally fine now this is going to be a 13 by 6 pre-plucked frontal unit you guys you guys already know what 13 by 6 means but for those who do not that means six inches back, 13 across. You can do whatever you want to in that vicinity, ma'am. If you want to do a half up, half down braids like it is on the stock car. If you want to flip it from left to right, you definitely can. I opted for the middle part that is on the stock car because for me, that just looked the most natural. As far as the hairline is concerned, perfect. Usually with the Swiss Lace series, the Cloud Nines, the hairlines are really good and you can't pre-pluck as well even though it says it's pre-plucked you can definitely plug more but i didn't really have too much of an issue with it now you guys already know i don't do baby hair so i did cut the baby hair that was really minimal along with the lace but i think the hairline is great it's not dense at all you could definitely work with her as far as blending is concerned and the hairline goes all the way down to the ear there so i'm going to lift this up just so y'all can see you can definitely put that behind the ear there's um Ear tabs that are definitely there, they're definitely heavy, so I just want to put that out there. But like I said, I think that the hairline per se is great. You definitely can work with this as far as blending is concerned. Now the star of the show, other than the color of Braylon, is definitely going to be the layers. That's exactly what I got this uh, wig for. Three layers, you got one here, two there, and the third is going to be the 27 inches. This is wavy all the way down. Loving the layers on this. Definitely opens up my face. 
I'm just in love with the layers. I love how layers can just frame your face. It can take you from like a five to a 10 like that. So I'm definitely here for that, you guys. Shade and tangling is definitely gonna be at a minimal. I mean, when I did cut the lace, there was shading all over the place, but I'm assuming that's just because I cut the lace. But nonetheless, it's a 27 inch unit. You're definitely going to get both depending on how much you wear the unit. So that, just keep that out there. Keep that in y'all heads. Remember, these are all synthetic units, ladies, and we have to take care of them. So remember, the more you wear your unit, the more it's gonna jack up on you. But as long as you know how to take care of it, you should be okay. So let's just go ahead and get into styling Miss Braylon. Once again, cut off the baby hair and the lace, and I kind of was just kind of looking at her like, what could I do? Should I shift her, should I keep her? And I was shifting this unit, and like I said, it just wasn't for me. I think the middle part definitely worked. Went in with my NT45 concealer in the uh, middle part there, went up under the unit, with my MAC translucent powder in the shade deep. And yes, I did go ahead and put a little bit of product in this as far as the wax stick. Definitely put a wax stick to her in the top area by the crown of the part. And also I did go through her with a hot comb once again at the crown because I wanted it to lay as flat as possible. But as far as keeping these layers, how they look, ma'am, I took my favorite ion hairspray, ma'am, and sprayed it to 1986. Definitely, I mean, look, y'all know I'm Gen X, okay? So when I say spray it to like the 90s or the 80s, y'all already know what I'm talking about because in 86, ma'am, the hair was high and hard, okay? So I sprayed this to about 86. These layers are not moving, okay? When I tell y'all, they are definitely hard. But the thing I like about my Ion hairspray is that they're hard, but they're still movable, okay? It's not spritz, it's a mist, okay? So leave it at that. But after I did that, I was pretty much good to go. I love Loved how this came out. Wasn't in the mirror no longer than maybe 15 minutes top. So that's another plus. I'm not gonna say this is a throw on and go. You definitely have to work with her. But once again, I don't think 15 minutes is too long, especially for a 13 by six frontal. The price is sitting at $51.94. I have seen this price higher. So really not too mad at the price there. With shipping, you're gonna come out at about 60. But once again, the way that this is constructed and styled, I don't really have a problem with it. You guys already know I say in most of my reviews, I'm a $40 girl, but I mean, if it's worth a little bit more, I'm definitely gonna pay a little bit more. So I'm not mad at the $50 price tag. Now, had it been $60, $70, $80, that would have been an issue. So my final thoughts on Braylon, I don't have too many cons. I do think that the layers could have been uh, a, curled a little bit tighter. Also, I think that it could have been flatter up here at the crown there. And I also think that it could have been just a tad bit thicker in the back for density purposes. But other than that, I'm cool with it. I think she's an absolutely gorgeous unit. This is definitely giving summer vibes all day long. I mean, if you get this in like flamboyage blonde or flamboyage mocha, my God, which I might do. It's definitely great for the summertime, ladies. It's nice and lightweight. So I'm definitely going to give her my charisma stamp of approval. I mean, it's constructed great. No cons at all. The pros do outweigh them, you guys. So yeah, head on over to Wig Types and pick her up. Right, so that's pretty much it for this review. If you enjoyed my content today, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to sub to my channel. That's my pretty little face popping up there. That's that button. Go on and subscribe to the K-Squad, you guys. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Instagram as well, at Christmas 76 See you guys in the next video. Stay beautiful and blessed. Bye.